Hello. This PowerPoint video is to go along with your syllabus, and so you'll want to print that out and, and read it over carefully, but I do want to go over some of the high points here. Uh, I'm your instructor for this course, Lillian Bass, and this gives my uh, office location, my email address, phone number. I really prefer you to contact me by email because I'm always checking that. Uh, my office phone has a tendency to, uh, if somebody leaves me a message, it doesn't even blink until sometimes 24 hours later, so it's, it's just not, not a real good way to get in touch with me if you need to. My office hours vary. Uh, with the semester, so please check the course schedule and that will tell you my specific office hours. If the office hours are difficult for you to get there at those times, contact me by email. I'll try to do what I can to meet you when it is convenient for you. Regarding expectations, um, this is a course that is going to take a little bit of time, I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, you want to check in at least three times per week and plan to spend eight to, eight to ten hours per week listening to the lectures, uh, filling in your notes, uh, reading the textbook, taking the quizzes, and studying. There really are no shortcuts, but efficiency is the key, and the best way to be efficient is to develop a routine. I truly found this out for myself a few years ago. I took an online course, my first online course, uh, regarding using Canvas, in fact, and I thought I would just get things done when I had time. It seemed I never just had time, and so I had to sit down and say, okay, this on this day, this day, and this day, I spend this time at this particular desk, and um, by developing a routine, then I could get through the material much more effectively. So I really encourage you to, to work on developing a routine for the course. The description of this course is uh, the diversity of life, and what we do in here is go through evolution, uh, diversity, we'll be talking about all kinds of different organisms, and then towards the end we'll do some local ecology as well as global ecology. It is designed for non-science majors. Um, so uh, if you are a science major, this is not the course for you to be taking. Um, it does satisfy the three-hour core natural science requirement that many degree plans have. You may also need to take a lab, which is a separate course uh, taught face-to-face -face by me. There may be some others that do them online, but I teach it on face-to-face. Uh, and it, it is called 1109. So you need to check with your degree plan, with your advisors, to make sure you're, you're taking what you need to, um, to graduate. There are no prerequisites. There are no co-requisites. Uh, as far as the student learning outcomes, these are determined by the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. That basically tells us what topics we need to cover in the course. And I won't go over them now, but they are listed in detail on your on your actual syllabus. This is the textbook you'll need. It's called Biology, Concepts, and Applications. I am using the ninth edition, and uh, there are there is a tenth edition out, but I have not moved to that one at this time. Um, you, if it's okay with me, if you get an older textbook, they're uh, very very similar. Changes are minimal. You might just have to double check page numbers and things like that. Um, I also have a couple of books at the White Library at the front desk that you can use uh, while you're in the library. And uh, the other course that I teach, the 1308, does use this same textbook. But we'll be using several chapters out of this one. You could actually either make copies of it or you of the of the chapters that you need, or you could just use the textbook while you're in the library if you don't really want to buy the book. However, I will say the textbook is required. Uh, the readings in the textbook will help you a lot with the material. So. Um, it is a required item for this course. Regarding technology, 
Uh, you'll need to use a recent version of Firefox, Chrome, or Safari, so you can use Canvas. And in the um, uh, printed uh, syllabus, it tells you uh, how to get to uh, the, the IT help desk and really learn how to use Canvas. It uh, talks about your online learning readiness and also goes into technological questions. Uh, you might already be able to tell. Technologically, I'm not good. I am not good. So uh, remember that the help desk is, is your friend, and they really can help you with any problems you may have. Um, technology is a wondrous thing and is very powerful, can really help us a lot. But when it doesn't work, it can really throw things off. So you need to make sure that you have access to the Internet, that you can... Uh, you know, take your exams before they're due, all of that good stuff, so you have to have a plan, and maybe even a backup plan. Uh, also, I want to mention the Office of Special Services that we do have here on campus. If there is a situation uh, where you may need uh, some special services, please contact me and also contact that office. And uh, again, the main thing here is we just want to make it fair for everyone. Okay, how will you be evaluated for this class? The grades will be determined by the following formula. 50% will be from lecture exams. There will be five lecture exams given, and the lowest grade will be dropped in that calculation. 15% of your grade will be from online quizzes and discussions, and the lowest grade there will also be dropped. Um, 15% will be from a project called the Painted Lady Butterfly Project, and I'll tell you more about that later. And then 20% is from a comprehensive final exam. Uh, so again, this is how your semester grade will be determined, and all grades will be posted on Canvas. The quizzes and discussions you can take from any computer, and you don't need anything special to do that. Uh, the lecture exams and final exam do require the Respondus Lockdown Browser. And there's a place on the um, Del Mar Help Desk page that shows you how to download that. So uh, again, make sure you have that taken care of early before, you know, if you have any problems with it, you know, again, there are no makeups, deadlines won't be extended. So again, it's just your responsibility to make sure you've got everything ready so that you can take those exams from the computer that you have access to. Uh, the exams will primarily be multiple choice or true and false, matching, those kind of things. And you will have approximately one minute for each question. Um, you'll be able to go back on the test, but that's how I determine the amount of time that you have for the exam. So be very aware of that uh, while you're doing your work. Um, and once again, no makeup lecture exams will be given in this course, and the deadlines are firm. Regarding dropping classes, um, if a student does decide to withdraw from the class, it is your responsibility to fill out the appropriate forms in the registrar's office. In other words, although there are reasons to drop students, I, it's easy, very easy, for me to miss that. I never know if somebody misses a few exams, or, if, or not, maybe not exams, quizzes, that perhaps they have decided to drop the course. I rarely go in and drop students. And so again, um, you can only have so many drops, so you need to take care of that. And also, of course, dropping is uh, better than failing, okay? Uh, if you think you need to drop the course, just take care of it so that you don't have any problems later. And here at the bottom is a uh, link to Del Mar College policies if you would like to look any of that up. But anyway, I wish you, wish you well, and the main thing is, is if you do have any questions about any of this, please contact me. Email me, and I'll do everything I can to help 
answer your questions.